What is good friends, back with more SPL, this is week 4, Eternal Spirit playing for the Tigers versus Jinji playing for the Raiders. I think this is the first game in the series. Uh, we got two Auras looking teams besides the Zygarde on the Eternal side, Zygarde wasn't common in Auras. But now it got the nice and broken Thousand Arrows move. Um, looking at the teams, it's gonna be Rox Jirachi on the Eternal side with probably either Wish or Healing Wish support. It's gonna be nice for Heracross, so Heracross can check the Weavile. Heracross Pascalia can check Weavile. Last moves on Jirachi would be Iron Head and then either U-Turn Protect or Body Slam in the last slot. We will have to see that. I think the Keldeo is looking to be the Scarf on Eternal's side. I don't see other Mon that would be potential Scarfer. The Tangress has to be AV to check Coco. Zapdos helps versus Pinsir Katana and gives Defog support. And the Zygarde could be a few things. It could be either Z-Move, Leftovers or Bandit. We will have to see that. Uh, Heracross, I'm expecting either a FD3 attacks or a sub-3 attacks variant. Heracross looking like a good lead potentially here, because it can beat Sableye. If it stays regular form, it, uh, if it gets burned, it has guts, so that would beat the Sableye easily. And then it can potentially get Healing Wish later by the Jirachi if Eternal needs that. On Jinji's side, I'm expecting Bandit Weavile, either Z-Move on Torn or on Heatran. We'll have to see that. Tren is looking like the only potential Scarfer. I mean, Lando is looking like the only potential Scarfer besides Tren. I'm not really sure if his lander would be Scarf because his Zygarde matchup is not that great. He can revenge Zygarde really well, yes, but switching to Zygarde is looking a bit rough for him. Especially if his Sableye is Spadef, which is more common. The Tornadoes could be either Assault Vest or Z-Move. Since he already has Sableye to, to keep rocks off, he might just not have a Defogger. We will have to see that. Because, like, this is SPL, you know who you're playing, and then if you prep and your opponent never uses Rock's Clef, Sableye can keep Rocks off versus most Rockers other than Clef. So, like, versus Jirachi, it can, it's gonna definitely be able to keep Rocks off. The thing is, Eternal should um, definitely lead with Heracross here to prevent the Sableye from Megaing. Because if he leads Heracross, the Sableye cannot Mega. Um, because, like, if you go for Protect Turn 1 and he goes for SD or Sub, you're in a bad position. So, I feel like. Eternal having that Hera kind of means that Jinji cannot lead with Sableye, which automatically um, puts Eternal in a good position if he can get up rocks with his Jirachi before the Sableye and Mega evolves. So we see a Tornado's lead, uh, Jinji fearing that Hera cross. Eternal is going to switch into Zapdos here, so Jinji should um, either knock off a Hurricane depending on what he has. He's 100% 100% not going to stay in here with the Hera cross, because Hera cross definitely destroys Jinji later in the game. But yeah, we, I obviously don't know if the Torn or the Lando have Defog, but if they both don't have Defog and he can get up rocks before the Sable and Mega evolves, then they are here to stay and it's basically what Eternal wants. Um, so Jinji could either go Gastron or U-Turn here. If he has U-Turn, that's obviously the better play, but if he doesn't have U-Turn, he has to hard switch into Gastron. The reason why U-Turn is always the play here is we see the Zapdos is pressure, it's not static, so you don't risk getting Parrot, and you um, catch a potential double from Eternal. Let's say he wanted to double into Heracross there, expecting the Gastron. U-turn covers that, which is why it was definitely the play. So unless the Zardos has Toxic, Gastron seems like com completely free here for Jinji. I'm expecting Discharge or Roost here from Eternal's side. If Jinji is fearing a Toxic, he could go on a Heatran, but I'm really expecting him to go on the Gastron. Toxic is not common at all on Zapdos. It's like Roost, Electric Move, Defog, and then either Heatwave or HPI. So there's the Gastron on the Discharge. Uh, Eternal obviously has to switch out here, scouting for Toxic. He could go either into Heracross if he wants to get a Guts boost, or he could go into Tangros or Jirachi. Um, the reason why Jirachi would be a good play is because the, the Sableye is not Mega Evolved yet. Jinji could have also gone Sableye on the Zapdos, I didn't think about that. Because he um, wants to get the Mega up, obviously. So he goes Hard Shirachi expecting a Toxic. And now if Eternal has Rocks, he's definitely gonna go for them because the Sableye isn't mega yet. And Rocks are really nice versus Jinji. Um, for the Torn, for the Weavile, chipping down um, Sableye, Heatran and Lando is amazing. Gastron is like the only one that doesn't really care about Hazards. Jinji could stay in here or he could go into Heatran. If he stays in, I'm expecting a Scald or Earthquake. And, but I think Eternal definitely is going to take his chance here and get Rocks up. And like even if the Gastron stays in, if it's Bulky Jirachi, it's going to have Leftovers. Uh, potential Wish to get health back later. Like It's not that bad if it takes the Earthquake here. 
but there's the heat churn and we do see a rocks go up um eternal is gonna have to switch here into either zygarde or keldeo Jinji could oh he body slams expecting Jinji to go for rocks that's a risky play um but i actually kind of agree with that play because um that covers Jinji going for Toxic, trying to catch the Zygarde or the Kaleo. And he was either going to Rock or Toxic there. I don't think he was going to Magma Storm. Now, um, I would switch at this point. So it's Body Slam, Rocks, Iron Head, and last move could be Wish or Healing Wish. That's my guess. Uh, yeah, now he's going to switch into Zygarde or Kaleo. Jinji's probably going to go for the Fire move here. Either Lava Plume or Magma Storm. Probably Magma Storm because we see the Heatran didn't have Leftover. So I'm expecting this to be Z-Move. And I'm expecting the Taunt to be Assault Vest because it had Knockoff and U-Turn. I think that's not really common on Z-Move to have both. So I'm expecting AV Torn. And then probably Bulky Scarf Lando because I don't really see another potential Scarf on Jinji's side. But we'll have to see. Uh, Zygarde comes out. Zygarde is a Leftovers variant. He's just going to Thousand Arrows, or if he has Toxic, he could go for that, catching the incoming Torn. Uh, Lando, I mean. Lando is definitely going to come out here. Obviously, Jinji uh, wants the Heatran. If he's Fist Death Sableye, then he could also go to that, but I'm not expecting that. I'm expecting just a Lando to come out here. And then we will see um, Eternal is either going to Toxic or T-Arrows here. And then we will see if the Lando is... Uh, the Lando is leftovers of its offensive. We will see that from the damage. So Thousand Arrows is 20%. That tells us if the Zygarde is max attack, this Lando is more defensive for sure. But this could also be since its leftovers could be bulky Zygarde and the Lando could still be Scarf with some bulk investment. So I'm expecting Eternal to switch out here into... Oh, he stayed in. Maybe... He showed leftovers and Thousand Arrows. His other move could be like... Toxic, Sub, and Dragon Dance, or I'm not sure, what did he go for here, Toxic? He goes for Glare, oh, I did not expect that at all. Okay, so he stared into Glare the Lando. Yeah, we could see the Lando didn't have Lefty, so yeah, I'm expecting the Lando to be Bulky Scarf, pretty much. And the Zygarde just not to be not max attack, that's why it only did 20%. Now, um... Jirachi ha probably has to come out here because Zapdos is already knocked off and Rock Sarp, so Zap... Like, if he U-turns here, Zapdos is not the play because then Zapdos gets too low. So, I think, yeah, exactly, Jirachi's the play. He just hurricanes. Now, uh, Jinji has to switch here because he doesn't want to get Iron Head flinched. So, if Eternal has U-turn, he can go for that. He could also go for um, Wish if he has that. He just Iron Heads, um, trying to flinch down the Tornadoes. Now, the Heatran is in... And I'm expecting the the Kelly or the Zygarde here to come out. We know it's Magma Storm, Rock Trend, Earth Power, and probably Taunt or Toxic. I'm expecting Taunt on the Trend. Yeah, the Zero Archie is obviously a really nice for Eternal, especially since he was able to um, paralyze the Torn. We do see he had Glare on Zygarde and Body Slam on Jirachi, so I'm not even sure if his. Um, Kaldeo is even going to be choice Scarf because he has double potential para speed control which is actually really cool to have speed control in T-Wave form or in Body Slam and para form and Glare para form so that Heracross can outspeed stuff and wall break I'm expecting just a water move here um, because I think Eternal predicted yeah yeah he, he water moved there because you predict him to go into Tornadoes predicting you to go for Secret Sword because he has a Gastron but yeah this was a completely fine play for Jinji. He can now just um, he can go for Scald. It's a plus. It's a plus one Scald. I'm expecting either Tangros or the Heracross to come out here from Eternal side. Um, Scald makes me think that this is not Z move Caldeo though. So it's either Specs or Scarf. Could still be Scarf even though he has that double potential. Thing. So he goes in the Heracross because that covers the Toxic and that covers the Scald Burn because it has Guts before it Megas. Gets the play correct, gets it in the off quick, so Jinji predicted the Jirachi there, I would assume. And this Heracross is a huge problem. Jinji pretty much doesn't have a switch in. Um, this Heracross can just go for Pin Missile here or Rock Blast. I would assume Pin Missile is going to come out because that has the most to... Like Torn can't even switch in because Torn is paralyzed and takes Rocks. The, yeah, exactly. Lando can come out, but that's it. And Lando's gonna get 2 hit KO'd by this. So we see Pinmill does 6%. So 5 times 6 is like 30%, right? And 1 did even 7%. So it did 31 
the, the Lando can't even touch this unless his HP flying. So like he can either get some chip here or he can U-turn out. Eternal should just pin missile again. He could also rock blast because obviously that would do more to Lando and that would cover the incoming tornadoes. But I think pin missile again is fine as well. Because it does more to Gastron. As he tries to pivot into Gastron, predicting a rock blast, gets the play correct. The thing is, now Eternal can just pin Missile, and even at minus one, Gastron, since it's probably Spadaf, and from the damage that we see, the Rock Blast doing a lot, pin Missile would destroy this Gastron. So, Jinji probably has to sack something here, and it's most likely going to be the Landris um, to the pin Missile here. There's the Landris to intimidate the Heracross again as a sack, and now. Um, he has to go and do either Sable Eye or if Tran is faster, he could go to Tran. So I'm expecting Eternal to switch out into either the Tangros or the Zapdos. Probably the Tangros. Since his Heracross is already Mega Evolved, he doesn't want to let take the burn, obviously. From Jinji, I'm expecting a Will O Wisp or a Knockoff. Probably a Will O Wisp because it seems pretty free for him. There's the um, Tangros, and the Tangros is now. Just gonna click Giga Drain most likely. Jinji's gonna knock off here, and then we will see if it's AV or Helmet, but it's probably AV. Just makes the most sense on this team. You see Giga Drain doing some veteran chip, <laughs> doing nothing. And there's the Assault Vest. So Jinji could knock off again here and then recover the next turn. Recovers this turn, okay. Uh, so Eternal can spam Giga Drain here for a few turns. Jinji is, I was going to say, eventually going to switch. That does nothing with a crit, so that's probably AV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now we're going to see a switch into Jirachi, right? Because Zapdos is quite low with Rocks Up, so he doesn't want to risk the Zapdos. He U-turns. Now he can go um, into Weewile, or he goes Heatran. Um... I think Zygarde is going to come out this time. I was, I think Kelly is already relatively low. It depends. Since the Zygarde, Zygarde had Glare, right? Zygarde had Glare and T-Arrows. So I'm expecting the Zygarde to either have Coil dra or Dragon Dance. And then last move, um, probably Substitute. So the Zygarde is a potential win con for Eternal, which means he might not want to go out to it. So like, either Zygarde or Kelly comes out. But if he wants to keep Zygarde healthy because he can win the game, then he's going to go Kelly uh, Jinji could fire off a Z move here, like Z Inferno Overdrive or Z Tectonic Rage. Or he could just go for Magma Storm. I'm actually thinking that Jinji doesn't have a Defogger because his Lando was. Yeah, okay, his Lando could have been Scarf Defog. But that's it pretty much. And I also don't like his Zygarde matchup at all. Besides, Rewell that can revenge Zygarde. Obviously, Jirachi is uh, nice to keep. So Eternal should never stay in here. There's the Caledion. We see either a Magma Storm or a Z Magma Storm. Okay. Now, um, Jinji can go into Tornado here, right? Because he can take pretty much any hit. He could also go to Gastron, but it seems like Torn is safer. He does go for Water Move again, so good play on the S part. The, um, the Gastron is going to come out here because obviously Jinji doesn't want to die to the next Scald. So Eternal should double expecting the Gastron. You can say this is a 50-50 because Jinji could also stay in expecting the double. He does double into Zygarde expecting the Gastron. And he's gonna get some leftovers back here, cancelling out the rocks he took. I'm expecting either the Glare or the Sub here. And he should Glare and T arrows, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm expecting Sub and then either Coil or Dragon Dance, right? I already said that. Um Jinji pretty much is in a bad spot here because he has to like scald and hope for a burn. And if the Zygarde has substitute this, he's not going to be able to break the sub and he pretty much just loses to the Zygarde, I think. He goes in the Sable. Okay, so maybe his Sable is a bit more fist dev and there's the sub. So now we can see if it's color, if it's Dragon Dance as he goes hard we while to break the sub. Sable cannot break the sub and knock off most likely. There's the DD. But now he has to um, ice move, ice shot probably to break the sub. But he's just gonna die to plus 1000 arrows, I assume, because Weevil has bad defense. Yep. And now 
he cannot even beat this because we were they, this just subs again and then he just loses to it because he can't break the sub. Skull doing nothing now. Eternal can either um, dragon dance again or he could just start attacking. And we can see it does around half. Skull breaks the sub, so if he wants, he can sub down again here, but he can also just attack. Probably just attacking is the play. Take out the Gastron. Yep. Now, this is looking like game over because Citran is slower and dies. Tornadus is slower and dies. And Sable Eye gives the Zyga a free substitute so it can't get burned. Uh, Jinji pretty much has to go for like knockoff crits to break the sub. I don't think knockoff would break the sub without crit. He goes for Metal Burst. Um, so he expect he had to hope for a choke there basically. Yeah, now he just DDs again, and he can just DD uh, keep DDing so he can Oko the Sable Eye so that Metal Burst doesn't destroy him. You can see Knockoff doesn't even break the sub. Man says GG and the game is over. So Eternal Spirit is 4-0 now. That's crazy. Um, he played Ryu the first two weeks. Last week he played OU. I recorded that. The Ryu games that I didn't record, my man Ultra Boss is going to bring them to you. I mean, I recorded them, but he's going to narrate them because I don't play Ryu. Let me pause it and show you guys the score real quick in this series. It's 1-0 now. So we can see here, um, Jinji vs. Eternal Spirit was the first game. Gondra vs. Azok going to come next day. Um, actually, it wasn't the first game in the series. Um, Mail vs. Lighthouses already happened, and I recorded that series. But the score... The score is not updated here, which is why I thought this was the first game, but it wasn't the first, my bad. But yeah, I recorded this RU game, I sent it to my man Ultra Bolts whenever he has time. Um, he might record it, I'm not sure, I don't want to ask him for too many games. But thank you guys for watching, Eternal playing really well, I actually kind of like this team, like... <laughs> speed, like speed control in Paraform plus Mega Heracross sounds really interesting. Thank you guys for watching, I will be back with more SPL content and peace out, have a fantastic day. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and goodbye.